Hello everybody, I am doing more multicolor, multi-material testing with the Flashforge Guider 3 Ultra. Um, as you can see, the Prime Tower finally wasn't knocked over, so I believe Orca Slicer 2.2, the beta version, um, that solved my issue. I'm able to control the speed at which this purge tower is printed, so instead of the printer going to 300 millimeters a second and knocking this loose, it's now printing this at 50 millimeters a second and everything's working just fine. So I have this dual color Flexirexi. Many of you may know, maybe you don't know. The first time I had this printer, yes, I had it in January of 2024, it couldn't print this in PLA. I could not print two colors in PLA without getting parts fused together. There was such a mess between all the parts. It was, it was crazy. But now we have in PETG, you know, not really all that much more impressive, but a fully functional, fully articulating Flexi Rex here with only one blemish right there. Now, I got to say, for multi material, that doesn't make me super happy because I want to use soluble material. But this is this is a massive improvement. So if anything, that should tell you that between Orca Slicer and Flashforge making updates, this is getting better at multi-material. It's just taking some time. So anyways, anyways, let's just take a moment to appreciate this Flexi Rex. Working, two colors, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's virtually flawless, aside from that one little speck there. I really like this. Um, but yeah, so you can still see there's some some strings and some blobs and stuff that oozed out but didn't really make it to the model. Um, I guess this didn't catch it all. I really don't want to use an ooze shield. I feel like that wastes even more filament so I guess more tuning is needed but awesome. Dual color is working really cleanly. I will say also dual color has been working really cleanly or it just it has been working. Um, it's, it hasn't not been working since I got this new printer. I just had to have a larger prime tower to compensate for that speed problem so it didn't knock over the tower. But I did get this and this is printed in Prusament and Flashforge Burnt Titanium ASA, both ASA. It's absolutely perfect. And it also came out equally as clean. Um, yeah, check it out. I'm pretty pr pretty happy with this. What dual color print should I do next?